Hi, I'm Kurt Kelly for Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. We're in Miami at the fabulous Fountain Blue Hotel where this year's NAPI convention is going on, the National Association of Television Program Executives. We're, we're, th we're actually thinking about doing a show called Film Hunters because that's what we are. We, we have a warehouse in Connecticut, just north of New York City. It's about 50,000 square feet where we store film and we do film transferring and restoration. So we get in some interesting situations acquiring and looking for film. So is this films of all genre or are you looking for a certain era and type? I would say there's not a single genre that we do not have in our warehouse. <laughs> Impressive. This is our first show. Tricord's a new company just formed a year ago, so we've been pretty quick in getting a catalog together to be able to come down to Nappy. So what are the things that you're here to try and sell this year? Uh, everything is family friendly, so we have some comedies for tweens as well as some documentaries. Everything is meant to be able to get the family back in front of the TV together. So everything is something that a child could watch with their parent. There's a lot of talk here about new media, YouTube, and people streaming on the internet, privatized channels where things are moving from local television like college basketball to local channels and how local channels have people craving more local content, however the ad dollars aren't necessarily there to support it and more and more local television is having to rely on national ad dollars to support itself. How's new media impacting broadcast television from your vantage point? Well, I, I you know, it, it, for years we've been predicting a convergence of the various distribution platforms. It's been very slow to happen, but it's like I say, you know, it's, it's hard to take a piece of fiber or a coaxial cable and put it into a BlackBerry. There's going to be that convergence of over the air and the wires and the satellites. Um, you know, there everybody had their own business model, so it's very slow the convergence, but it's happening. It's starting to pick up steam now. So, again, I I, I think if the recession wouldn't have hit us when it did, that this is probably the most exciting time in in the history of media. And and I've been in my own business 25 years, and I was at. Time Inc. 15 years. So I've been in the business quite a while. How has the digital media impacted the model of Telemundo? Well, just a couple of years ago, we weren't even on Twitter. We didn't even have a Facebook. And it just started, I want to say, three, four years ago, tops, three years ago. And now we have, you know, tons, tons of followers on Twitter. All our properties have um, Facebook um, accounts and Twitter handles, so we, we get to see what the audience likes and what works and what doesn't work. There's the Latin Voice of America. What other divisions are there of Voice of America? There's actually, uh, Latin, uh, Voice of America actually transmits in 43 languages. Wow. So we're basically all over the world, uh, from Latin America all the way to uh, China. <laughs> and so you have 43 languages that you're transmitting worldwide. Are these the same shows or are they custom tailored to each type of market? It's completely different depending on the language. Uh, in the Latin America division, we uh, handle Spanish and Creole to Haiti. Uh, and we're in the process of uh, relaunching the um, Portuguese to Brazil. Uh, and uh, every, But every language is depending on where they're targeted to the programming is separate. So there's actually uh, eight divisions within the Voice of America that handle every, uh, every language. So how many years have you been coming to Nappy? Well, I've been coming on and off for 20 years. I've had my company, Big Fish Marketing, for 20 years, and we are experts in reinventing television network brands and launching new shows on television. And um, it's, it's been exciting, so sometimes really coming to an event that's all about the programming is really important because you can't pretty put a pretty bow on something you don't understand. So it's keeping me up to speed on the content side. So you say you've rebranded networks or television programs. What would be in your stable of things on your resume? Oh, um, CNN, MTV, uh, TNT, uh, A&E, 
uh, FX, I mean, you name it. Um, launched, uh, I was on the team that launched um, Animal Planet, um, Game Show Network, Travel Channel. Big ones, yeah. And I started really, you, at you TNT. Really, you get bored a lot. You just kind of sit around <laughs> and watch moss grow and paint peel, right? Yeah, that's what I do. Now, I write books on branding as well. Really? Um, I take everything that I've learned about television network branding, which is constantly evolving, and applying it to people. I wrote the first book on personal branding called right. Make a Name for Yourself.